It's a sweltering championship Sunday at Congressional in the final round of the KPMG Women's PGA Championship, the women's third major of the year. Coming down the stretch where each and every round, South Korea's NG Chun has slept on a significant lead. It was three to begin the day, but how things have changed in the early going of this final round. And Lexi Thompson is leading the charge right out of the gates for birdie at the first. Lexi has not won in three years. Her lone major came eight years ago. That put some pressure on Chung, who was making some early bogeys. And then Lexi here with her second at the par four third. After parring the second, and Chung picking up a bogey there. Lexi bringing it back and using these slopes at Congressional to her advantage. Another birdie there, two birdies in the first three holes, while Chun has made three bogeys in the first six holes. And just like that, Thompson has the lead by herself over Se Young Kim and Chun in the final round of the KPMG Women's PGA Championship. NBC Sports. The LPGA Tour and the PGA of America are proud to present live final round coverage of the KPMG Women's PGA Championship, all part of the season-long race to the CME Globe. It's been one of the more recognizable scenes in all of golf through the years. Congressional Country Club. It's where Rory McIlroy won his first of four majors 11 years ago. Dave Stockton won the PGA Championship here. But for the first time, it hosts a women's major, and it does so with a much different look after an extensive renovation. The blue course just reopened last year, and today it will crown its first ever major women's champion. And boy, have things changed. It was a five-shot lead for NG Chung after Thursday, six shots going into the weekend. It was as many as seven yesterday, but it is all gone as Thompson has taken the lead on a very tough golf course today. NG Chun, not the only big name player making bogeys and losing ground. There are some other players. Brooke Henderson, a winner here in this championship at plus two at the turn. Jennifer Cupcho also having some early struggles. And so not a lot of players under par on the golf course at all. And as we get you out to the par five ninth and the second shot for Inji Chung in a tie for second now and Kay Cockrell with this final threesome Kay. Yeah certainly struggling at the start of today had a good opportunity for birdie at the last missed it. I'm trying to. Get a good layup here on this very difficult par five. M misses the fairway not what she was looking for joined here in the 18th tower with Morgan Pressel major champion. In her own right, the ninth Morgan finally playing under par today for the first time all week. Yeah, it's been one of the hardest holes on this golf course, flirting between the first and second hardest holes. I think it's because the hole location today, Dan, and the front of the green makes it a little bit easier. But as we saw from Inji there, Kay, it's a tough layup. It is the first and foremost, you want to hit it straight and ensure you're in the fairway and also avoid. Uh, the cross bunkers and and really for Lexi upcoming she's going to maybe get it down has to be careful to not go too far down the slope it looks like Hedgen's going to go through the fairway here there's a cart path that crosses the fairway you can see the rough that was an unusual layup a little bit aggressive got a lot of hook on the ball so a little bit too much release there of course it's firming up it's playing a lot differently out there today Kay. completely different play with this wind and the heat of yesterday and today I think Lexi learning from that shot of Hagen's going with the iron. Normally she goes for par fives, but this is a three shot hole. Looks like she got way ahead of that one. Wow. Way right. Upslope got me so bad. She yeah. says the upslope got her so bad. And Lexi Thompson, this will give you an idea of what kind of week it's been, not only for NG Chung, but the rest of the players chasing her. She trailed by 10 after her opening round 74, Chun shot 64. And at the turn yesterday, Lexi Thompson trailed by nine. She finished up a good second nine yesterday, went into today trailing by three, and now has the lead by one as we get you out 
to Tom Abbott at that beautiful little par three by the clubhouse. Yeah, you got the tough par five ninth, but then uh, a short hole at 10 back down the hill. John Wood is with this group as we watch Hannah Green. Tough hole today, hitting down, down into the wind, but downhill so much. The ball gets really influenced by the wind a lot because it's in the air for so long. Safe shot there by Hannah Green, past champion of uh, this championship. Now back up to the tee with Se Young Kim. And Tom, the wind has picked up much harder than it's been blowing all week long. Really haven't had to deal with much at all. Plus, it's been soft. Now the greens have firmed up. It's blowing hard. True championship Sunday out here right now. Yeah, what a turnaround from Thursday morning when it was raining. It, it, it had storms come through this area Thursday afternoon and through the night. The golf course was, was wet. It was cool. And now it's, uh, it's hot. Breezy and the greens are firming up. We've got a top tracer technology presented by Rolex here for Se Young Kim's tee shot. And this is eight iron for Kim. Tough to go at this flagstick today. It's cut so close to that right edge of that green. You can see the flag on the right side, the big American flag there, going right into the player's face, as John mentioned. Slide it down, but turning over. This is left of the green, unless it gets a bounce. Oh, it's missed that sideboard that kicks the ball back towards the green. And that's going to be a tricky up and down for Se Young. Well, Inji Chan already has two major championships on her resume, Morgan, but uh, this will give you an indication of how tough it is to sleep on the lead for this long. And all of a sudden, it has become not the Inji Chun story but the last round final of a major for Lexi Thompson to see if she can finally get in the winner's circle again. Yeah, it's been it's been quite the whirlwind of a morning here at Congressional. What we expect to see, though, the golf course is really firming up, and Lexi's taken advantage of that, getting off to that hot start with the birdie, put herself in position. Let's see, can she get it done today? She needs to stay really mentally tough out there. Definitely her ball strike, when I was talking to her caddy on the range today, Will Davidson, he said it's the best. She can't hit it any better than she's been hitting it, so it's all about getting those putts in the hole, coming down the stretch here on Sunday afternoon. But it's been 50 tournaments since her last win. She's had a number of opportunities, not only in regular tour events, where she's had seven runner-up finishes since that last win three years ago, but major championship opportunities as well. We'll see how she handles the pressure in the throes of another major championship chance down the stretch here. And he's looking at Chun going through the motions here with her caddy, Dean Herter. They took their time yesterday. It was a lengthy third round for Chun and her group yesterday. She is certainly a very deliberate player, but also yesterday on the back nine, she faced uh, several situations that were awkward, to say the least, like this lie that she faces. This primary rough was last cut Sunday afternoon, and it is long and thick. She has a side heel lie dealing with a very strong crosswind right to left, going with a six iron. That's an awkward lie to pull a six iron out of. Not sure that's gonna have enough. Oh, it did just snuck on. That's gonna leave her with a quick putt, but I'd say a pretty darn good shot, Kay, from that spot. Absolutely, just to have that good a contact shows how stable she was through the shot. Chun is plus three on her round with three bogeys. In the meantime, Lexi, of the 34 players who began the day with the nine shots of the lead, she is the only one under par today. Well, Lexi's lie is okay uh, relative to NG Chun's, this is almost flat, but it certainly isn't flat. She is dealing with rough, but it's not as thick. She's got a little bit of an uphill lie. Her left foot will be higher than her right. It looks like the grass is maybe growing with her a little bit too, K, which would make it easier on contact and judgment of how it's going to jump out of this lie. 129 yards to the front of the green. I think she's uh, yes. looking at that number, maybe a little bit more to ensure she carries the bunker because she has to carry that sand on her angle.
a little backstop there. Did she catch it? Oh, what a shot. Just like that, Lexi Thompson's got another great birdie look. She had a good look at the short par 4-8 just a hole ago, was not able to convert it. Just uses her tremendous strength here to get underneath this golf ball. Look at how softly this lands onto these firm greens. Right into that upslope. Wonderful play. A very good look it'll be for her third birdie of the round. And back over to the 10th. Yeah, we saw Se Young Kim miss the green. This is the shot she faces straight down the hill and only uses a 56 degree wedge. She doesn't have the 58 or the 60 that we see in some players' bags, but she knows how to use uh, the 56 degree pretty well. She's going to have to work hard for the par there. Let's go up to 11. Third at 11 for Minji Lee, par 5. Yeah, they moved the tee back up again today. Minji Lee, the U.S. Women's Open champion, went on to make birdie from there, trying to make a back nine move here. That got her to three under. And now Hei Jin Choi with a sand wedge from 74 yards with her third. Back here at the par five ninth. Just really awkward spot there. I mean, didn't have much to work with. Downhill lie out of the rough, but but wait. Yep, using that slope, <laughs> but just like here. Lexi Thompson. There are some wild slopes around these greens with the renovation here at Congressional. Big day for Hei Jin Choi, who's had some close calls in big major championships through the years. Lexi Thompson looking for her second major, her first one in 2014. Today's coverage is brought to you by KPMG Transforming Insights and new opportunities. And by National Car Rental, go national, go like a pro. 87 degrees, feels a lot hotter than that as our aerial coverage hovers high above Congressional, provided by Waystar on a journey to transform healthcare payments. Back down to the par five ninth. And look where NG Chun is aiming here at the ninth green. It, this is just an incredibly difficult Putt in length that's probably only 35 feet, and she's going to aim this way out to her right and probably treat it more than like a five or six foot putt, let, then let it make a sharp left turn down to the hole. This is just all about visualizing your speed here, finding that high point, not even ignore. I mean, she's got her back entirely to the hole. And that's just gaining ever speed as it goes. She's going to end up outside her fellow competitors for par outside of their birdie putts. And that view will give you an idea of how these greens are wild in some spots after the renovation and over at the 10th. Say Young Kim trying to save par. Back up the hill and just moved there on her. So that's going to drop her over par for the day. She falls back to four under, a couple behind, of course. Lexi has a birdie putt still to come at the ninth. It is a different day today. We are seeing these players uh, struggle out here. And speaking of struggles, this one's tricky. At the 17th for Nelly Corda, who has fallen out of contention here this weekend. But hold on a minute. Nelly Corda shot, which one? She's the top American in the world. Back to back birdies for Nelly. And gets her back to four over par for the championship, three over par for the day. She has one hole to play here at Congressional. Let's go back to nine. And hey, Jin Choi has the next putt for birdie, Kay. Yeah, just outside of that putt of Inji Chun's upcoming for par. This ball is just past hole high right. It's going to have a good amount of speed and, a, and some right to left break as well. Just 22 years old, 11 wins in the Korean LPGA Tour, trying to win out here for the first time. Impressive player. Mentioned that she's battled for some previous U.S. Women's Open. As a 17-year-old amateur, she had a chance to win the 2017 U.S. Women's Open. And she finished third in the last U.S. Women's Open. There she was, the runner-up 
It's just a teenager, Morgan. You know what it's like to get in the competition at such a young age. Yeah, her first real foray here into golf in the United States. Went back to play for a few years in Korea as a professional and then made her way this year to the LPGA Tour. Just a really bright future ahead of this youngster. And now China's trying to avoid K, her fourth bogey on this side. She was so near perfection in those first 36 holes and then showed a lot of resilience yesterday when things were not going her way. But again, things not going her way. This, this to avoid four bogeys on this front nine. I think she really needs to bring some of that resilience out right now. Okay, she's got to look at the leaderboard and say, I'm only one behind. You know, yes, I, I had a big lead, but I'm still very much in this championship. It's going to be a plus four opening nine for Chun. Who matched the lowest round in championship history on Thursday with a 64. The lead was five. It was six, as we mentioned, going in at the halfway point. And this has just been a wild ride for Chun, who was just riding a wave of great play after the first couple of days. Then let the field come back to her yesterday, even though she did at one point have a seven shot lead yesterday in the third round. It was a bit of a shaky close. And so the lead had dwindled by the Saturday and then trails by two as the lead was quickly gone. Lexi Thompson passing her after the fourth hole today and this could be three back. Well, Lexi came out today and has handled this front nine so much better. She was plus two on this front nine after after the first three rounds and one under so far. Second, oh, that's harsh. Second straight hole. She's missed a makeable birdie attempt. Mentioned the one at the short par four eighth. And that will be the focus of this second nine, Morgan. How will the putter cooperate for Lexi Thompson, especially from short range and in? Could have been a bigger lead. It's two. And the final group reaches the 10th tee and that wonderful scene with everyone sitting on the hill watching this short par three and the breeze is up here Kay. Oh that it is it's so it is a good two club wind. And this group has been told officially that they are being timed they're on the clock. Kay I don't quite understand why they're on the clock the group ahead has barely to their tee shots on the, on the 11th hole. Well I guess they didn't sufficiently close the gap like they were told uh, on after the eighth hole. Yeah there was uh, a clear hole there they did have a, a clear hole in front of them for uh, at least a few minutes whilst the uh, other group the group in front moved over to the 11th tee so they're not quite keeping up uh, with that group in front and this is going to be uh, another complexity to the drama of the back nine being on the clock as you uh, reach the 10th hole on Sunday at a major it is not ideal Kay. No it's not uh, it can cause some anxiety and stress. But what you have to do is just uh, stay to your own game and just just quicken that pace and, and make sure your caddy gets those yardages and make your decisions faster. Only player to shoot under par on the front nine today Lexi Thompson. Uh, that's a nine iron up and away. Bang online, but there's a ridge there, and it's going to come back towards the front of the green, so it's going to add some difficulty to her birdie putt. And let's go over to the 15th hole. Hyoju Kim has this for birdie. Trying to become a part of a very select group under par in this championship. And she does get to one under for the day. With three holes left. Much different day as you were saying Tom course average today 75 with the winds getting up and the greens firming up. Yeah we expected the players to be challenged here at Congressional as we take a look at our top trace at technology presented by Rolex. And Inji Chun. And going with an eight iron gripping it down trying to lower that trajectory a little bit. And that's the best of the three. 
Still only three birdies on the 10th hole today. It's playing a lot tougher today than it did yesterday. I think the breeze has a lot to do with it. Let's go to 11. And Cupcho comes to this par 5 11th at one under. She was definitely in the conversation the first couple of days and through much of yesterday. Gets one back there, gets within four. Who knows what's going to happen down the final nine here. By the way, the first nine holes took the final group two hours and 50 minutes to play. So it is not a quick pace here at Congressional in the sweltering heat. Lexi Thompson began this day three back of the first and second. Third round leader, Inji Chun, now finds herself too clear of Chun and company as we get you out to that beautiful scene at the 10th. Yeah, it's terrific, isn't it? Hedin Choi has already played from the bunker. She's got a little work to do for her par. Now, Lexi for birdie. This is a good 45 footer, and with these massive greens, you can have a good large handful of very lengthy putts. Lag putting becomes so important. Lexi has had three, three putts this week. And would like to have had more speed on that one, putting back into the wind. It's going to be more pressure on the putter there for Lexi. Work to do for par. Let's go to 11. Par 5, 11. Say Young Kim in this tie for second, two back. 111 yards left. Kim's coming off two bogeys in the last three holes. Well, wherever your golf journey is headed, a PGA coach will help get you there. Find yours at PGA.com slash coach. Back to the tenth. And now Inji Chung with a chance to turn things around. Kay, this for birdie. Yeah, Tom, even though she hit the best shot out of the threesome, this is by no means an easy putt. It slides left to right a good deal. Never got that one high enough. Just we'll go up to 12. And this is a par attempt for Minji Lee. Number two ranked player in the world behind Jin Young Ko. No problem there. Minji Lee remains at three under. Right there, looming three back. Yeah, Dan, you have to think she's in a pretty good position, and we all know what she's capable of. Especially coming down the stretch on Championship Sunday. So as we look back down at the 10th. And this is a par putt for Hee Jin Choi. He hit it in the left bunker. I feel like all these players just look so much more tentative on and around the greens. And, and that's due to the speed of the greens increasing, the firmness of the greens increasing. They just feel like they're a little bit unsettled. And it's Championship Sunday. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's Throw a lot of pressure the and a lot of money on the line. It's for par. And it doesn't drop. Hedgen has been in the U.S. for four months. She does not have a home in America. She's heading back to Korea tomorrow. And she is really looking forward to heading home and looking forward to seeing her puppy, whom she hasn't seen for uh, four months. So even if it doesn't go her way today, I know that uh, heading home will be on her mind and getting a chance to, to get back to familiar surroundings, having been traveling in America for four straight months. Now, Lexi. This is this is huge. I, I was surprised that she came up so short on that birdie putt and just not making it easy for herself. OK, and after missing those two in the last two holes, I think this is a really important putt. She needs to make this for some confidence heading here in this back nine. She's done such a good job of staying committed to her routine and the way she's putting. Nice yeah. stroke there. That's good. That's what Lexi's going to need on this back nine. Trying not to watch the leaderboards, get involved in what's happening in the championship, but that's going to be kind of impossible here when you're playing in the final three ball. This was the stroke. Yeah, she has to know exactly what's going on out there, Tom. As much as you try and stay in your own position, she can see how the people that she's playing with are doing and knows that she's in the lead group. Let's go to 11. Se Young Kim has this for birdie. 
Can to get her final round back on track. We saw her do that a little bit yesterday there on the 17th hole. Got a little aggressive with her first putt and ended up with a three putt bogey. And she's trying to avoid her third and last four holes. It'll be a tricky little par putt coming back for her at 11. Lexi Thompson with a nice par save at the 10th. The LPGA for more than 70 years creating greater opportunities for women. Drive on. Out to the par 5 11th. Say Young Kim coming back here for par to stay at four under. Avoid a little string of bogeys. Not to be. That is indeed another one. Three in the last four holes for her. Yeah, the same thing we saw a little bit down the stretch yesterday. Just sloppy. That's a very sloppy bogey with the putter. Pretty good looking card through the first seven holes. The miscues have dropped her now three back. This is the par 5 11th tee is up today and it's playing as the easiest hole today here on the blue course. And Lexi has plenty of firepower to get there in two. Doesn't look at that but for a split second beauty. And just by straight into it. I think still small TV power is good. Oh, yeah. Get up to the par 3 13th. 171 yards today. Minji Lee. Toughest hole location we location we've seen this week on this hole just over that bunker turning this away from the hole it's going to catch that big ridge and funnel back down towards the front of the green that's going to leave a tricky two putt G Lee got up to a rough start boogie the first two holes has played three under golf since then and back for Chun on the tee at 11 Let's see she's had a little bit of everything so far at this par five yeah, you know, I watch her on the range a little bit this morning, Dan. She just looked uncomfortable with her golf swing. She was working hard with her coach, Juan Park, just just uncomfortable. Wasn't really the same Inji that we had seen previously this week. Yeah, this is the fairway there. This is Jennifer Chang at the 12th. Brought it back nicely. Is right there, just three back. Huge day for her. This could be life changing for Jennifer Chang impressive got off to a tough start three over early but has battled back to even par on the day that's going to keep sloping down but it's really hanging tough defending champ Nelly Corda at the 18th for birdie continuing her comeback since the blood clot surgery still wearing that sleeve on the left arm that was for three in a row so a nice finish here nonetheless for Nelly. Benji Lee coming up to that back right hole location here at the 13th. John Wood. Dan, this putt's got a little bit of everything to it. Uh, left to right, up the hill, down the hill, right to left, and about uh, 60 feet. So not one you practice too often. This is completely feel and trust in your feel. been three birdies at 13 today and Minji Lee will be working hard for a par back at the 12th Brooke Henderson and she put it a little better this week would have been a lot closer to the lead Morgan yeah we've seen her so far this week just miss quite a few short putts we know it's improved since she switched to left hand low yeah. about a month and a half ago take that what a one. fantastic putt that was First birdie of the day for Brooke gets to one under and who knows five back and if you haven't watched us this week the par 5 11 there's the whole location on the right side of that green and there is the split fairway configuration here depending on where the hole is cut players electing to choose either of the fairways and Lexi Thompson who had yeah. a beautiful drive here is set to go. <laughs> Yeah, both Lexi and Hagen Choi hit strong drives. In uh, fact, yeah, well, Hagen got past Lexi. NG Chun laid up. She'd driven it into the left rough. Oh, uh, that's so correct. She got a third up coming. Lexi has 217 yards to the front. And mind you, this is uphill and playing back into a good club and a half, two club win. So she's going to have to really tag this one. Okay. 
Yep. Struck that Good pretty well, kick. pushed it a little towards the right bunker. A little pitch shot from there for Lexi. Yeah, that'll be a little bit short sighted. The green running a bit away from her. And back over to the 12. This is a par attempt for Chang to stay three back. Almost drops one there back at 11 for He Jin Choi. Three paces ahead, Alexi, 214 to the front. This going on a similar line. Maybe a little further right. Yeah, that'll be even a little bit more short sided. You can see the edge of that bunker there. Everything, once it gets on the green, will run away from both of those players. Just earlier, Jung Yoon Lee, five, 33 years old, second shot. 18, been a bear of a hole this week. Yeah, it's playing a little bit easier than it has all week. I think because it's so much more downwind today, Dan. So players able to hit shorter shots in. And wow. One for the highlight reel right there. Five with a two. <laughs> That's a pretty good finish there. Birdie at 16 as well before the eagle drops to come home in 34 for a third Final round 74. Another look at this hole. Coming in with the wedge. We haven't seen anybody really come in with a wedge into this 18th hole, but because of the wind helping players off the tee here, using all these contours. And there have been at least six women professional golfers named John Yoon Lee, so thus the number designation to. See who's who, and that is a great eagle, too. At the last, Minji Lee at 13, trying to stay par. Well yeah. done. I've seen that movie before, John. <laughs> she, they made, she made so many of those putts coming down the stretch at the U.S. Women's Open. Now Chun with her third at the par 5 11th. And this is a hole yesterday where she chose the wrong club. Her caddy, Dean Hurden, said, yeah, they were in between a, a wedge and a nine, went with the nine, thinking the wind was hurting more, but today it's definitely hurting more. 120 yards, playing more like 130-35. And a much better result. Neither Chun or Hei-Jin Choi has made a birdie today. Lexi Thompson made two in the first three holes, but has been shut out since then, but still leads this championship by two in the final round at Congressional. Back out of the par five, 11th third for Lexi Thompson as the breezes are freshening here. And you can see Hedgen's ball there well past the hole. It's just a tough shot to generate spin off that really tight lie, but Lexi able to have a little bit more club head speed there. Par 3 13th, Brooke Henderson on the tee. Five back at one under. Yeah, a few years ago, she switched to playing a little bit of a fade. Let's see if that'll help her here on this shot with that right hole location. Wow, they're just, I mean, it's such a different golf course than what the players saw early in the week, at least starting on Thursday after two inches of rain on the course coming into the day, but Fred has firmed up tremendously. Not a bad way to play 13 there. Exhibited by Brooke and back over to 11. Where eventually here, Lexi Thompson is going to have another good birdie look. But it's He Jin Choi who is away, who's looking for her first birdie of the day. And she's going to give uh, Lexi Thompson a pretty darn good read on this putt. Downhill, sloping a little left to right. Spoke with her, uh, one of her two coaches over here in the United States. She works with Brian Lebedevich, PGA of America coach, on her swing when she's away from her regular coach in Korea and Gareth Rafluski on short game. And he's been trying to get her to speed up her routine, trying to pull the trigger once she's over the ball within five seconds. Yeah, I love that, Kay. Become much more reactionary. You get, you get into trouble the longer you stand over the ball, the more poor thoughts come into your mind. Oh, what a beautiful stroke that was, too. Unlucky. Nice roll. So Choi will remain at three under. We go to 12. And say young Kim, long birdie look. Coming off 
three bogeys last four holes. And after missing that short one on the last hole. It's not what you want to see. So it'll be another short par attempt for Se Young Kim to remain three back. And up ahead to the 13th, Jennifer Chang off the tee. I talked to her coach. She works with Ted O. I talked to him earlier in the week. He said that they're really working on not putting so much her not putting so much pressure on herself. I feel like if she's able to have a really good finish here this week, that would take a lot of pressure off her heading into the rest of the season. And Inji Chun is next for birdie at 11, K. And also looking for her first birdie. Had a good look at birdie at the eighth hole. And uh, then bogey nine. This, this is an uphill punch. You can be plenty firm and aggressive with this. Yeah, Chen out in plus 440, but the first oh, wow. birdie comes here at the 11th. That thing was rammed in the back of the hole. Boy, hit that one in with conviction. That might be just the spark she needs to kind of remind herself, hey, I'm still right here in this championship. Look at her smile there, Dean, <laughs> Caddy. First birdie in 15 holes for NG Chun and Lexi Thompson in search of this elusive win. It's been three years, as we mentioned. And it's been a lot of events, 50 of them. A lot of runner ups, a lot of top fives, a lot of top tens, but has not been able to get into the winner's circle. So, waiting a long time for not only just a win of any kind, but that first major and the talent she had. When she was a teenager, when she won in the desert, you would have thought she'd have multiple majors by now. Again, just 27 years old, but that's the kind of talent that Lexi has flashed all these years. Shorter version of the same putt that Agent Choi just had. By Thompson, who responds to Chun's birdie with one of her own third of the day. The lead is up to seven under. Two clear of Chung. Next best is four back. Had two beautiful strokes in a row here from Lexi. Important putt, I think, for her with Inji making that birdie just ahead of her. Keep the pressure on and keep the confidence up. And she has been so close in these major championships. Talk about that first one coming in 2014. Ten top fives for Lexi in the majors since that lone major title. And she strides over to the 12th with her third birdie. And this is a little par attempt by Se Young Kim at 12. And she has struggled big time. Oh, wow. And look, she's got a longer putt now coming back. She just looks a little bit more uncomfortable. She usually is it's so confident on those short putts, hits them with a lot of pace, as we've seen. But they usually go dead center of the hole and with authority. Yeah, I saw it really veering out of control yesterday, and it's just gotten worse as Lexi comes up here to the tee at this 401 yard par 4 12th. Again, nine back at the turn yesterday in a round, and now leads by two. Back up on the green now for the bogey for Kim. It's four in a span of five holes now. And over at the 13th, Chang second. Now we saw from Brooks' shot just how fast this is going to be down towards this hole. Yeah, that looks like a really good one. Beautiful touch. Yeah. Chang should remain at two under. And now Thompson on the tee at 12. Yeah, going with less than driver, which makes sense as this hole is dead downwind. Really not a long par four. She ought to be able to get this one down there and have just a short iron in if she can hit the fairway. Yeah, the fairway slopes away down on the right side. So just trying to keep something a little short of that. She lost this right, okay? Yeah, and there's a bunker over there to the right that does come in play. You can't always tell with the Lexi lean. Sometimes <laughs> it looks a little more aggressive than it actually is. Just play That'll be just fine. On the right side, good angle to the left hole location. Probably a little further back than she would have liked. We go to the 14th. And the second shot for Minji Lee. Drove it right, found a good lie, but a completely blind second shot from 173. Has to aim it at our tower behind the green. 
Flag all the way at the back of the green. That's going to be on the middle tier. There are three tiers. And we'll go back over to 12. Coming off her birdie, Inji Chun with a driver. And she's trusted this driver all week long, been very proficient with it. Did miss one on the last hole on the left rough. That's been her miss today, but striping it right there. She looked unbeatable in the first two rounds with a 64 to 69 to get a six shot lead into the weekend. But wow, have things changed. And this golf course firming up, getting even more challenging by the moment. Sean coming off birdie, just like Thompson, separated by a couple. Time now for today's KPMG Women's PGA Championship historical moment. There have been 68 editions of this championship through the years, and Annika Sorenstam, of course, has had a huge impact as we take you back to 2004 at DuPont Country Club in Wilmington, Delaware. Final round, beautiful shot there. Her second hit the 16th, and then a tap in at 18, a formality as she won by three shots over Shi Hyun An. It was Annika's second of three consecutive KPMG Women's PGA Championship victory, second oldest women's major in this 68th edition being played for the very first time at Congressional Country Club where Lexi Thompson wants to make it her second major win. As we go out to the 13th, it's been a difficult par three. It was a beautiful second shot play there for Chang. And now painted off of the par. Three, a good score at the 13th today, as we talked about with that difficult hole location. As we get back to the 12th, and Lexi going over the yardage here, okay? Yeah, and her caddy wisely bringing out the uh, the laser, which are which are allowed this week, because when you're dealing with kind of a a, t uh, a green that has a front right and a and a, a left front number, you Just want to be accurate. Back there, you know? I've got it down off the left. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, just land it. That's that's perfect. Yep, right on the uh, the TV tower should trickle down to the left. Okay, is this group still on the clock? Yes. Going with a nine iron, she's looking at uh, her target is the TV tower, uh, maybe the left edge of it. 153 to cover the bunker. And there's a little bit of a down slope there just over the bunker. Ideally, would like to land this about flag high. Oh boy, that came up short, bounding down into the bunker. You see that wind whipping down. Yeah, that's well short. I mean, that's a that's a full club short there. Close. Yeah, that's a good 10 yards short of where she wanted to carry that. Probably a good thing that it bounded down into the bunker instead of up on that uh, hillside rough to 14. Minji Lee just waiting for that uh, bug to get out of her face, and she converted a great two putt on the last hole. This will be equally as good. An extremely steep hill and going to the right. Yeah, this green with the big tier is probably the most pronounced of any of the greens out there. And just tough to get the speed right. We've seen a few players go long of the green today and they've hardly been able to keep it on the correct tier. Let's go to 12. And this is Chun's second from 146. Yeah, she looks like she's aiming way right. Good opportunity for her with Lexi in the bunker. But this one bounds out well to the right. I think that was a smart play. She didn't think she could stop it going at the flag. Big announcement this week here at Congressional. The purse increase. As you can see through the years, 2.25 million before KPMG became involved. In fact, the winner received $337,000 just eight years ago. The purse has now doubled in the last year. 
from 4.5 to 9 million as we welcome Laura Nowinski, the U.S. Deputy Chair and Chief Operating Officer of KPMG. And I know you're very proud of this purse increase, and I know the players are as well. So congratulations on another great week and a purse increase, which is huge. Indeed, Dan. Thanks so much. You know, as we've been the title sponsor for eight years, we set out to make a lasting impact on women's golf and I think we've been doing that and we have an intent to just keep this um, keep this going it's been a lot of fun this week what, also, what a great what a what a great battle and also with your uh, involvement in this championship the women's summit it was another big one on Wednesday where you had Condi Rice and some other leaders of the industry come in and inspire young women absolutely you know we aim with the, 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 this championship and the women's leadership summit to elevate women both on the golf course as well as into the sweet suite elevate Elevating women in the game in, in in the business world the advancement the empowerment the promotion of women and we did that by providing a tremendous uh, agenda once again on Wednesday here on the course we had Indra Nui uh, the former chair and CEO of Pepsi Condoleezza Rice we had Olympians we had great conversation we really are inspiring women to invest in themselves and inspiring their leaders to invest in them as they work toward uh, promotion and better representation of women in the C-suite Laura, thanks for all you do and the LPGA. It's been a great association for the last eight years, just making women's golf better. So uh, we all appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you, Dan. Laura Nowinski of KPMG with us as we get you out to the 12th. And there's Lexi looking over this third shot from the bunker. You see her scrambling numbers this week. Pretty good third in the field. And she's been three for four up and down out of the bunkers this week. But this one is going to be a good test. She doesn't have much green to work with only eight paces and the, the green is sloping away. It's downwind. She's in a deep bunker. Has to get this up quickly with some spin. And number yeah. number one job here, Kay, you got to get this on the green. You cannot try to get too cute and too perfect with this. No, and kind of accept a 15 footer beyond the hole. this green. Oh, that's about as good as she could do right there. Very well done, Kay. Yep. Giving herself a 20 footer for par. And that was all done down wind as we take another look from high above. Yeah, just really well done. I mean, you can hardly the sand here is so heavy and thick, especially even still after that rain earlier in the week, makes it hard to generate enough spin, especially downwind, downhill. Smart play. Back up to 14. And the pop out here for Minji Lee. Definitely an easier leave than she had on the last hole. Um, and you never want to get ahead of yourself, Tom, obviously in these situations, but if she can get this one down, She's got to be thinking maybe one more on the way in and post it and see what happens. That would have a very good chance with how tough it's playing out here. Yeah, I think with the amount of confidence she has coming off a U.S. Women's <laughs> Open victory, a couple of majors uh, in the last year, yeah, this is one of the best players, if not the best player right now in the women's game. Not the world number one, but the way she's playing. So. I wouldn't be surprised if she's right there come the end of the day. Yeah, that's a par. And just trying to set the target now. Not as much pressure on her shoulders. She can kind of freewheel it. And this is Inji Chung looking over her birdie attempt at 12, okay? Initially left the flag stick in by itself, but it was bending too much with the wind. Had her trusty caddy, Dean Hurden, go ahead and tend it. Big left to right movement downhill towards the end. And that runs out a little bit. Morgan, I had forgotten that Dean Hurden was on her bag when she won this championship in 2015 or when she won the U.S. Women's Open. I hadn't wor I wasn't working that event, but yeah, yeah I, I talked I, to him earlier. He said he was working for He Kung So, Inji's best friend, and they didn't make it in the championship, so he got on her bag. Yeah, he said it was kind of a one off. As Se Young Kim coaxes this down at the 13th and still in that tough area for her, which we have seen her miss a number of short putts for par. And 
now he Jin Choi for birdie over at the 12th and Morgan you really like this young 22 year old you think she's going to be a really good player for years to come I do I've been very impressed with what I've seen just so far this year even on the LPGA tour we know she's very accomplished back home on the Korean LPGA tour but Kay what have, what have you seen out there that's impressed you today. Yeah, she's solid tee to green, and I think for her it's just a matter of how close can she hit it with the wedges, and will those putts fall? Yeah, her, so far today, the you know I don't think she's hit it close enough, and, and nothing has fallen. I think she's got a fun, youthful personality too that comes out. She's a little bit more emotional. Oh my gosh, that's the second putt in two holes that look like they've fallen, but. She shows a little bit more emotion, just just as if on cue. That looks so good, Morgan, that, yep, I've got it. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, man. <laughs> That's how close it was. Well struck by Hei Jin Choi in her first year on the LPGA Tour. And now Lexi with a lengthy par putt, but a chance. And Morgan, I, I spoke about her, her consistency particularly with the putter you know she went to this claw grip what a year and a half two years ago and she stuck with it and then working with Phil Kenyon kind of um, some details that have helped with her rhythm and tempo of the putting stroke that seem to that she seems to handle really well when the pressure gets on her better. Yeah I would say her her putting stroke looks probably the best it has ever looked under pressure. I still think that she just looks a little bit uncomfortable over the putts. It's just she's such an athlete. She's maybe one of the very best athletes out here on tour. And if she could let that trickle down a little bit into her putting as opposed to she just looks a little bit rigid. And I think she does that little squeeze in with her scapula that gets her to be more stable over the putt. That was another good roll. Good looking stroke just played a little bit too much break mistake on this hole was made on the on the second shot missing it a club short in that front bunker. So with that bogey the lead now just one for Lexi. Second bogey on the back nine this week so she has played this back nine exceptionally well. Ahead to the 15th and Minji Lee on the tee of this 439 yard par four. Down it goes into the fairway, hopefully, and then it is a big rise up to the green. Blind shot coming up for her second, and she's in great shape off the tee there. And G. Lee in a tie for third, now just three back with Thompson's latest bogey and back for Chun's par, and this to stay one back now. And this is what this golf course gives you. These greens are so big with lots of undulation. You end up having a lot of four and five footers for par. And when that wind kind of keeps picking up and gusting a little stronger at times, it's a good idea to back off and reset. Uh, she looked like she hit that a little bit on the bottom of the putter face. Looked like the putter lifted a little bit as she went through impact there. Didn't stay quite as low to the ground as we're used to seeing. So even with a bogey for Lexi, the lead remains too. Another look at the stroke, Morgan. I looked just uh, on the very bottom edge of the putter, made it just maybe squirt off a touch to the right, and it's a fine line out here. That's the fifth bogey now for Chun in the first 12 holes. Well, there's the reason that 13 is playing pretty tough today Morgan all the way back there on the right. Oh, there's only been three birdies today on this hole. It's just hard to get it close. See we see um, K the best way is actually maybe to play it all the way to the back edge of the green and let the slope take it. Yeah. back towards the hole. Uh, I like that and there's plenty of room left of this flag stick. I don't think this is one that you want to be <laughs> aggressive and go at it. And it's playing uphill plays a couple yards uphill and from this angle, the wind hurting from the right. This is a four hybrid. Oh, missing this right. Yeah, high right. 
know, that's actually not the end of the world. She's chipping back up the hill. Might be one of the best places to miss it around this green. This is Minji Lee. The blind second shot, Woody, at 15. Yeah, 179 to the hole, but I think it's a shot you can actually land short of this green. It's downwind and it's coming in at a shallow angle. The fact that you're hitting downwind and uphill, a lot of run out on this second part. Oh my gosh, that took a massive bounce. Straight downwind is what he described, I all mean, the way in the back bunker. Oh, and she's up by the, that's gonna be a Little really tough slope. shot. Yeah, she's gonna have lip issues on her backswing. I mean, only 20% of the field has hit that 15th green in regulation today. I think it's, with that, with that, I think it's 85. Lexi, listening right. to Will Davidson. He, he came on the bag last year after the Solheim Cup. She's pulled the four iron out. She actually is carrying both her four iron and five iron along with the driving three iron. Often she she keeps out either the four or five and carries five wedges, but because of the length of the course, changed up her her equipment setup. Oh, that sounded good. It's penetrating ball flight there. Is she going to get that backstop? It should come over. She's so good with those long irons. It's not going to come quite as far back as Brooks did, but still really nicely done. Well, Lexi has contended in a lot of majors. The lone victory, though, coming eight years ago, she was just 19 years old in the desert. The Chevron closed with a 68 three shot win over Michelle Wee. Got on a birdie run there on the front and caught every hole on the back nine. Her fourth career LPGA victory at the time, first major title. And it just seemed like a matter of time before she added majors after the leap into Poppy's Pond. But we have been waiting a long time for the next one for Lexi Thompson. And again, three years from a win of any kind. And now Chun ready to go off the tee. This is her seven wood. This club was quite magical for her the first couple of days. Yeah, it's going to leave her just on the bottom side of the ridge with that tricky uphill, then downhill putt. Boy, Chun, the first 50 holes. Looks like it was going to be an historical run to victory. Was 11 under. Last 16 holes, plus seven. That's enabled Lexi Thompson to get a two-shot lead. This is Choi's second shot at the par 3 13th. Ball sitting down a little bit in this thick rough. 15 feet of green to work with. Green tilts from back to front in this section. Oh, pretty nice little shot. Nice rhythmic flop shot. Little semi flop shot. Chance to stay at three under. Go to 15 and pick up Minji Lee from that back bunker. Doesn't look like she has any issue on her backswing, but a little bit of a downhill lie. Tough to judge the spin or get any spin, but wow. Looks like bounces just through the, enough of the rough. Gets it to stop. What a shot. Yeah. Big time shot there. A chance to remain at three under three back of Lexi Thompson. We just showed you how her lone major victory came in 2014. She's had three runner up finishes since that major win. As you look at our Insights brought to you by KPMG. And that graphic there doesn't include a third place finish at the U.S. Open last year at Olympic Club. She had a five shot lead with eight holes to play in that championship, and it got away from her. Chun for birdie now here at 13. Mentally, she's been trying to um, lower the importance of this week. She feels the expectations of those around her plus her own expectations. And as a perfectionist, like so many golfers are, it's a, it's, a hard, it's a hard way to play. Trying to free it up and not control things as much. Up and over that hill. Really good, good speed. That Chum became so frustrated with her disposition and the way she wasn't having fun playing golf anymore. She pretty much stepped away from the game in 2018, 2019. Talked about suffering from depression, said she just put too much emphasis on it, was a perfectionist, and as Kay said, is just trying to have more of a carefree attitude about the sport. From shooting below 100 to finally crushing par at your favorite course, 
The relaunch braking series has the tips you need. Stream all four instruction series right now, only on Golf Pass. And it seems to be the goal of a lot of top-notch players through a lot of different sports. It is very easy to get into a situation where you kind of define yourself as a person to the sport you're playing, Kay. And Lexi Thompson has had her own struggles in that department. Most definitely. And I, I think she's getting a lot of help, Morgan, from Martin Hall, just constantly inputting positive thoughts. He has such an array and library of stories and anecdotes he can share with her to help her through tough times. Yeah, I've spent a lot of time talking to Martin about Lexi, and he's always looking for ways to help her feel more confident on the golf course. And, you know, Dan, you mentioned her near misses in major championships. And I talked to Martin this morning. He said they've really been thinking about the only reason to look in the past is to learn from your mistakes, learn swiftly, and move on. And that's really been Lexi's focus here. This is such a fast, difficult huh. putt. Well done by Thompson, who says she's in a much better place. She doesn't put as much of that kind of perfectionist attitude on her golf. I go out, she says, I've been practicing. She's got a putting green in her backyard. She says, I put in the time, and let's just go see what happens. A nice save there for par. It'll be for Lexi to remain at six under over at 15. Minji Lee looking for the same. Nice up and down from the back bunker. For the U.S. Women's Open champion from Pine Needles to stay in the mix three back in a tie for third. I, I Joy. Mean, that, that could be a huge up and down there, Dan. Coming down in the next few holes. I mean, wow, she made that look so easy. And how big could this be in the end? A par attempt here for Choi. Man, these, all these putts just seem so big. And they're all so challenging, especially when you're above the hole. Like this one, everything drains down to the right side of the screen. See how firm, how brave she is to hit it with a little bit of firmness. Well, not oh. much firmness in that one, Kay. Mm -hmm. That was a just, I mean, but look at how far past that went still. I mean, so tentative, but it's almost hard not to be as severe as this green is here around this whole location. There's just no way you can hit the tee shot below the hole. Like even Lexi, she had such a tremendous tee shot, but was not rewarded with an easy birdie putt by any means. So Choi will mark is very good friends with NG Chun, who lives in the Dallas Fort Worth area. A lot of South Koreans making that area of the country their home. And now Chun. We'll try to keep it at this 400 number. You almost just have to start thinking that par is your friend. The usual way at a major championship. Just grind out these pars. Stays at plus four on the day. Again, had a three shot lead to begin. A seven shot lead yesterday in the third round. She's keeping that positive attitude rolling here. As we go up to 15, pick up the second shot for Jennifer Cupcho, winner of the first major of the year. And the last major out there in the desert. And Morgan, I know you won that uh, championship, so it's a little uh, bittersweet to see it leave the desert out west. Definitely bittersweet, uh, but Jennifer making that last lop, leap into Poppy's Pond, but. You know, Chevron coming on board with that event, wanting to take it to new heights, just similar to how KPMG has done with this event here. Hitch and Choi tapped in for the bogey over at 13. And we'll go back there to see Lexi's tap in here. Let's see her working on that posture. Yeah, she pulls her scap her scaps back just before she takes it back to try and keep her arms more engaged to her rib cage and not work independently from her body. So that's the thought. Scaps back. <laughs> Recent champions of this championship in its 68th edition. Brooke Henderson won as a teenager in that playoff battle at Sahali with Lydia Ko. Danielle Kang, we want to wish her the best. The 2017 champion diagnosed with a tumor on her spine. Has taken some time away from the game to get better.
And Hannah Green winning at Hazeltine a couple of years ago. Say Young Kim, the winner with that 63 in the final round. And then Nellie Corda on her way to number one in the world last summer with a win at the Atlanta Athletic Club. And over at the 14th. This is a pop up for Say Young Kim. She came up on the front of the green with her second shot left herself a long birdie putt all the way up the green. So there's a good two putt for Say Young. She remains at two under four shots back of Lexi Thompson who has reached the tee at the 14th and I think this hole is going to suit Lexi in terms of the length that she has because it's playing long and it's playing the toughest it's played all week. We've got our top tracer technology presented by Rolex for Lexi's tee shot here. And ideally you'd like to be on the left hand side of this fairway to have a clear look at the hole. Not feeling the force of the wind that's hurting off this tee. But it's up there and she just ripped that one. Wow, what a good drive. Just avoid the divots and it does. So Lexi will have that uphill second shot to the back hole location at uh, the 14th. Let's go to 15. And Cupcho also the winner last week in a playoff. Let's see how far short of the green she lands this Dan. Oh, on the putting surface. You just can't do it. Just rockets back into that bunker. She just like Minji Lee. Yeah, she doesn't get quite as far up against that back lip, but it's just playing so much differently than it has the first three days. 14. Now, yeah, Inji Chun. And she's giving oh. up a good 30 yards. This is going down the left hand side. Should be okay. Yeah, it's fine. The, the, the start of that ball flight cave was a bit worrying. There's a penalty area down the left. There's also out of bounds down there, but it is just fine from Inji Chun. But she needs to. Turn things around. 14 birdies, the first 36 holes, four birdies in her last 31 holes. First edition of this championship played in 1955. This is the 68th plane of the KPMG Women's PGA Championship. Third major for the women, total of five again here in 2022. And Lexi Thompson is hoping it is, her, it is her second career major victory. She's been waiting a long time for another day like this to go her way. T at 16, par 5, Minji Lee, three back. Yeah, they moved this tee up for the first time this week, making this hole reachable in two, especially for Minji, who's one of the longer hitters out here. Doesn't seem like she likes it, but... I think it'll be just fine. Be able to chase something up there. Whole location today on the very front of this green. Ahead to the green. Older sister of the defending champion, Nelly Corda, Jessica Corda. And Jessica, we talk about Nelly taking some time off. Jessica took a little bit of time off as well. Hasn't looked rusty in her return either, though. It's a bit of a wild scorecard for Jessica. Adds up to plus one. Not a bad week for her. Today's coverage is being brought to you by KPMG, transforming insights into opportunities. Hot, humid day at Congressional in Bethesda, Maryland, and the aerial coverage provided by Waystar on a journey to transform healthcare payments. That's a good look at all the trees that were taken out in this Andrew Green transformation of the blue course. 36 holes here at Congressional, the blue course, the course where they played all the big championships through the years and back down to the 14th. And Hedgen Choi second. Yeah, going with a five iron, Tom. You guys have talked about this whole way in the back, 41 paces on. Let's see if it gets back there. It does. There's a little backstop right there. It'll come back. Yeah, that is really good. That's one of the best we've seen all day. I'm not sure you could get much better. What a shot. Tap in birdie. She's going to have no idea how good that is. There we go to 15. And the third from this back bunker for Cupcho. And Cupcho will need that to stay at two under, four back. And back to 14. And now Inji Chun with that uphill second shot. It's pretty significant. 21 feet up the hill. And of course, the flag is at the back of this three tiered green today, Kay. You need to carry it 35 paces on to get to that top tier. 
for NG. That's 160 yards. She's going with a five iron. Yeah, it needs a hop forward. It doesn't get it. So that's going to leave her a putt that is going to need some hitting from down there with that ridge. Let's go to 16. And Minji Lee giving it a go. 229 front off a little bit of a downslope, which could help her get the ball running. Give yourself some sort of an eagle chip or an eagle putt. This is a gorgeous looking shot right now. Looked like great contact. And what a shot by Minji Lee. Takes a little look at the hole as it goes by. She'll have that for eagle. Wow, that reminds me of the shot she hit on the on the first hole of the final day at Pine Needles. Wow. That just sounded good, looked good. And that wasn't far off from banging against that stick. And back to 14. If that had gone in, she would have tied for the lead. This is Lexi who is leading here on the 14th. I don't think where this ball ended up is right, doing her any favors, it. Tom. It ended up a little that's bit correct. on the upslope. And that's going to cause your ball to shoot up even higher into this elevated green, but into the wind. Only four birdies so far today on the 14th. She's got to make sure she hits this really solidly and doesn't let it balloon at all. Yeah, you need to find that correct tier if you're going to have a good look at birdie. She hit a beautiful splited iron into that last hole needs to keep this ball flight down a bit well, there's, she, there's a reason she's number one on tour and greens hit and regulation and yeah, get pretty high up in the air there Kay. drawing it in a little yeah that's the correct here that's going to leave her right to left breaking putt but it is for birdie maxi thompson with the lead in a major championship Jin Choi walked up and tapped her birdie putt in. That's her first birdie of the day. So that gets her to three under par and within three of the lead of Lexi Thompson. But uh, Inji Chung has something to think about with this birdie putt. Boy, I think this, is, this has to be the longest and most severe putt that she's faced today. She had it, an equally challenging downhill twisting putt on the ninth for birdie, but this uphill so hard to get yourself Morgan to hit it hard enough yet still hit the sweet spot. She's going to ask for it to be tended, I think. I think that's smart. Once uh, a little bit of depth perception helps a bit. When your caddy is standing there, gives your eyes a better feel for exactly how long the putt is. And when you have a lot of wind like today, a good club and a half, two club wind, the, the flag stick just moves around too much and can be distracting. She had, this is so slow, the first two thirds, like extremely slow up that slope, then it flattens out a little. See a lot of players leave it short from down here. Not this one. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, it Just. is a little short. I tell you what, that was a really good effort, <laughs> but it was close to going in. That would have been a bonus. It's going to be a four for Inji. Came here at the beginning of last month to check out the golf course and uh, went into the pro shop to make sure she was okay to play. And they gave her a tee time with another player that was there, Dan, Hedgin Choi. <laughs> Good friends, as we said. Get connected with the LPGA on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Coming down the stretch here at this KPMG Women's PGA Championship. Lexi Thompson is next over at 14, Tom. This would go a long way for Lexi, but there's gonna be some movement in it, Kay. Yes, this is the kind of putt that it looks relatively flat and relatively benign to some of the others you've faced today, but it's the kind of putt that could entice you to be a little extra aggressive, and if she's not spot on, it could uh, it could end up going by a good ways. And I think she, she's got to err on the high side to the right side here to give it a chance. Think of all the near misses that Lexi's had in major championships since that win. And we wonder when the next one's going to come. She's got a big opportunity here this afternoon. 
and this would go a long way. And it's just a bit tentative from Lexi. Yeah, I kind of understand the tentativeness on that one because it was one of those putts that if she was a little too aggressive and it snapped left, it, it could get out of control. Should be a four. Well, Tom, you talked about her close misses in majors, which she's had 20 second place finishes in her career. And you can look at that positively like you're always in the mix. Or you can look at it like, boy, how many more wins could I have? Yeah, I think the longer that it goes without her notching that next victory, the harder it's going to be. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That is the nemesis for Lexi, that tentative stroke from short range, Morgan. Yeah, we've seen it just all too often, Tom. Just oh, a short word. stroke here. Hardly took the putter back at all. Dead left off the putter face. It's hard to watch at times with Lexi Thompson. Minji Lee has an eagle putt at 16. Lexi tapping in the bogey at 14. And ties her for the lead up top. If this goes in for Minji Lee, that will be well short. But the two putt birdie it'll be. And you, you look at Thompson and you compare her to Minji Lee. Lexi, as we've been talking about, is looking for her first win in four years. Chun is looking for her first win in four years. And Lee has been winning with regularity in the last year. Three wins in the last 12 months and two of those majors. And this is a scene that we've seen repeated numerous times when the championship heat gets ratcheted up especially in major championships for Lexi Thompson yeah and in all of her interviews especially the ones as of late it, she just keeps repeating herself I mean I'm trying to control my emotions I'm not looking at the leaderboard I'm focusing only on what I can control and, and very much trying to take her focus inward but when you have a two-shot lead coming down the stretch at a major championship it's really hard to stay in that present moment and it's definitely been a struggle for Lexi. And she's had some opportunities here, definitely. With birdies on the line. This was what we were talking about, the short par 4 eight earlier. It was uh, got a drive up there close to the green. It had a beautiful pitch to that point. Settled for par. And then a great birdie look at the ninth as well. And then the one that you just saw her miss at 14, that for par. The latest that we saw besides today in a major was that U.S. Women's Open at Olympic Club. You were there, Morgan, and it was, as, as Tom said, it just gets hard to watch when you kind of are hoping that it doesn't come. But indeed, we're seeing it again on this championship Sunday. As Chun is now off the tee at the par 4 15th. He's sticking with driver. This whole playing uh, mostly downwind with a left to right wind. It's coming pretty much out of the south southwest today. Third toughest hole this 15th. Almost a half stroke over par has a lot to do with that elevated green after you find the fairway if you find it. Down below. And it's just gotten so firm up there Morgan just 21% of the field have been finding the green in regulation at 15 today. And you would think Lexi's head spinning a little bit here. Morgan, what uh, if you were catting for her or you were sitting on her right shoulder, what would you be saying to her right now? I mean, you want to need to have the shortest yeah. memory in the history of the world here right now. You need to focus 100% on this shot. I was will I'd be you're still in the lead of this championship. There's a lot of golf left to play still four holes. It's just got to be so confounding for her who is such an impeccable ball striker and powerful that she just is so unreliable and inconsistent on those shortest of putts that count equally as much as a 280 yard drive. Rip that one with the three wood. 
very authoritative off the tee today for the most part. Coming off two bogeys in the last three holes as we shift up to 17. And Minji Lee on the tee. Let's see how far down the left she goes. Just skirting that left bunker. Straight down the breeze today, so maybe. Yeah, soft bounce is going to be fine. Needs to avoid the divots though. Oh, I think it may have found a divot. There are just. So many shots hit from that part of the fairway because all the balls gather down there. We'll find out when we come back to this final round of the KPMG Women's PGA. The PGA of America inspiring the future of the game and the golfer in all of us. First women's major contested at Congressional Country Club, which has been hosting the biggest championships in this country for a long, long time. It's been open for about 100 years. And enjoying this women's PGA championship and Lexi Thompson hoping this is going to be her day, but she cannot afford any more of the miscues like she just had at the 14th Morgan. Yeah, this is I mean, we've seen it a handful of times, certainly in Lexi's career, missing these short putts under pressure. Watch as she goes through this stroke. She like backs up with her upper body, shuts the face down. It's almost like she was looking wishing the ball to go in the hole from about a foot. And just she needs to, I mean, she knows it's, it's hard. It's so hard being in that position time and time again. And, and that being just too much of the story, Dan. Layer upon layer in your career. She just keeps adding to it harder and harder it gets to turn that around. She's got some holes here. Like you said, Morgan, she's got plenty of time left here to win this championship. She's just got to turn that mental block around from missing those short putts. As you look at the blind shot here again at the par 4 15th, so hard to get this on a regulation. There's the elevation change that heads up to the green K. And all the players uh, stopped short about 50 yards short on higher ground to to get a, a sense of where the flag is in relation to that pole, you've got to hit front yardage here because everything just releases and goes like turbocharged through the green. Yeah, you have to hit about 30 yards short of front yardage here, Kay. I mean, it's just, it's nearly, oh, she's going to have a really tricky stance there too. It doesn't look like she's got a lot of space to work with. 17. Yeah, it's what uh, we feared there for Minji. It has found a divot, John. She has. Um, it's not sanded, which is a plus. If it's sanded, it be, almost becomes really tough to make solid contact. It's partially replaced. Her ball is sitting on some an old divot, so it's not as bad as it might be. That being said, so she, she takes a look at that. Let's go to the 15th. And Chan is next. Wow! And just standing here in the last minute, in between. Heijin Choi and Inji Chun hitting the the wind has just picked up even more strongly helping from the left. If you are going to land it short it has to be on the very far left hand side because yeah, gonna... everything slopes and tilts left to right. We're going to check it out Kay, with our top dresser technology presented by Rolex. Uh, that's a smooth eight iron. Yeah, landed too far. Just on repeat, everybody flying the green. Well, the problem is if you come up a little short right, it's just going to peel off down to the right and never make the green or end up in that bunker. Lexi K has at least a little more opportunity. She's probably the highest ball hitter of the group, can generate more spin than her opponents. But she, I don't know if she knows that how far over or how big of a bounces those balls have taken and that she needs to land something well short of the front edge here. I think she can hazard a guess because there was no cheering, no crowd reaction. Yeah, I think this was downwind, uh, landed right there. Yeah, exactly. That's the yep. advantage. Will says yeah. she's going with the pitching wedge. Yes, that's correct. Helping off the left. 135 to the front. See if she can, if she's going to land this on the green with and get some spin. It's just so much wind helping. Sounded good. 
How will it react? I mean, that basically is like she's just hit the green in regulation, Dan. I know it's just off the edge, but she has an uphill putt there for birdie. She's going to be able to get putter on that. Good to see a smile back on her face. 17. Yeah, you can see the flag just over the bunker, but I think Minji's going to play into the heart of the green, digging it out of that divot. Now, will it stop? Yeah, that's fine. It's going to be an uphill 30 putt. We've seen a lot of players there today. And let's take a look at that lie. Yeah, just at the front of the divot. Wasn't sanded, as John said. And she was able to play a pretty regular shot from there. And this is uh, a player who's at the top of her game and not as big of an issue as it could have been. Let's go to 18. Lydia Ko just finished out. This was her birdie attempt at the 18th, not playing quite as tough as it's been. And the first birdie comes at the last for Lydia Ko, 17-time winner on the LPGA Tour, says, finally, I got a birdie at a congressional. Breaks 80 in the process. Well, if you're watching in the plane through, you saw Hajin Choi struggles here at 15. Chunk one in the back there, so a bogey for Choi drops to two under. And it's that kind of day, championship pressure. And Chun is next to play her third. She hit a chip shot from this position yesterday when the hole was more towards the back right. And this shot reminds me a little bit, Dan, of yesterday on 16 when she got up and down for a double bogey. It was a flop shot out of the thick rough with hardly any green to work with. Lie okay, Kay? Okay, not great. Manageable, but but she's gotta she's gotta clip it and really lay open that face and and be nice and aggressive through this shot. She is really good at those little flop shots. Yeah, very nicely done. So important to stay aggressive through that shot, and she did just that. 17. And as you look at Minji Lee, now in the green, lowest final round scoring average of majors in the last five years. We talked about how Minji Lee, the last year, has proven to be one of the best players in the world, second ranked player in the world, but by virtue of her play lately, I mean, she is playing the best golf of anyone 
one of only four players under par today Minji Lee and the only one in the final seven threesomes. She wants to tie the lead here John. Absolutely she just saw a very similar putt from Co. Up over that hill and then moving to her right. It's got some little bit of speed on it. Wandering away from the hole, so not in for a four just yet. Let's go back over to 15. Just off the green, Lexi Thompson for birdie. And Morgan, like you said, the advantage here, putting back uphill, slightly uphill. Everything moves to the back of the green. This will pull a little to her left. Maybe she can free up the stroke a little bit because she's coming off the grass and maybe a little less expectations that this will roll perfectly. Just the sheer distance as well, a little bit not the same expectations of trying to make it. Go. How about that? How about that? What a stroke. What a bounce back. Didn't look like it was maybe going to get there for a bit, but. Maybe this is going to be the day for Lexi's second major breakthrough. Wow. Able to get it to. Ball in on the left side. She's still backed up out of that one a little bit. Only the fifth birdie of the day, 15 today, could not have come at a better time for Lexi Thompson. Very gutsy right there, Dan. She has been on our radar playing in major championships since she qualified for that U.S. Women's Open at the age of 12. She's been playing in these for 15 years. I can't remember any other woman having more close calls and struggles in major championships that Lexi Thompson has through the years. What a day it could be. Chun with a big putt here for par. Yeah, and the crowd is so excited to see that putt fall by Lexi. They've quieted down. This putt now downwind. Really not, nothing to it in terms of big break. Just get it started center and trust it. Is to stay in that two way tie for second with Minji Lee, who's over at the 17th. Two back. You know, Inji again hasn't had her best stuff today, but she has really hung tough in there after getting off to a rough start, losing that big lead. Oh, oh boy. Looks Almost like looked like the wind blew her wind over there through, a little bit, yep. okay? Definitely. And that can be so disconcerting. And you just have to I don't know, either widen your stance. Tighten your um, your quad muscles a little bit more to really steady the lower body. We've been talking about how long it's been since Lexi's major win. NG Chun is a two-time major champion, but it's been six years since she last won a major. Big par save for Chun, but Lexi Thompson's birdie. Brings her two clear with three holes to play. Has a par five coming up at 16. 17 and 18 still playing over par, but they're not as tough as they've been throughout most of this championship week. And you can see the support that Lexi Thompson has. Nelly Corda has replaced her as the best player in America, but there was a time when Lexi Thompson had that on her shoulders all by herself. Minji for par. Oh, wow. The twists and turns of this championship. You just don't know what's coming next. It has been all over the place in the last, even in the last hour, Tom. Yeah, it's incredible. Minji, by the way, was eight shots back after she bogeyed her opening two holes. She's now three behind. So with Thompson at six under, we'll remind you that NASCAR's new era is here. Time for us to join the fun. Don't miss the excitement. As NASCAR on NBC returns in Nashville today at 5 o'clock Eastern Time on NBC and Peacock. So Lexi makes her way over to the par 5 16th tee. Team ground up today, 495 yards, so a chance for Lexi to use her power to her advantage. Has always been one of the longest hitters out here. Straight into the win today, Kay. We just saw. Minji Lee get there in two with a fabulous sh second shot. I think Lexi, if she puts this ball in the fairway, can definitely get to the green in two. No doubt, no doubt. And it's just a matter of her uh, freewheeling it and hitting one of her patented drives. When you think about that 15th hole. Our Lexi just made birdie. She made birdie there yesterday as well. It's been 
one of the hardest holes all week. And what a t couldn't have come at a better time, Kay. A little bit in off her right. Well, I'd say, I mean, <laughs> that's a good way to help you erase the short miss at the previous hole by holding that birdie putt. There was just about a foot and a half that miss for par at the 14th and comes back and birdies the 15th. Good target would be that uh, far bunker in the distance, the left edge of it. Fairway tilts a little bit from right to left. Yep, that's going down the right center. She has hit some good drives today. One of the LPGA leaders in par five scoring, Thompson has always been, but only three under on the four par fives this week, but still, these par fives are not your typical LPGA Tour par fives, Morgan. Yeah, most of the par fives this week have been playing over par for the field. And, and this hole, they just happened to move up today. It has not played this distance all week. It's the first time they've used this up tee. Now Chun, after the nice save to stay at four under. And this is a hole that she probably feels owes her something. See if she can shave three shots off of what her double bogey yesterday. Kind of cut across that one high right drive. That was a little bit of the miss that I saw her hitting on the range today. Just a little bit of a soft fade, kind of a weak fade. Up to 18, 427 yard par four downhill fairway, canted right to left. Got to hug the right side of the fairway just to probably even keep it in the fairway with as firm as this golf course has gotten. Uh, beautiful there by Minji. But the work got a lot tougher. With that last miss. For bogey at 17 now three back of Lexi and that just skirts the divot. She was already in one earlier. <laughs> but finally avoids that one at the last second. Lexi Thompson. Looking for another major victory coming off the short miss. At 14 from the back fringe at 15. Couldn't be a better time to pour it in to get to six up. Lexi Thompson is only 27 years old, but she has been playing this game and big championships for a long, long time. In fact, she is a two time junior PGA champion. The first one coming back in 2007, Westfield Group Country Club. She was just 12 years old, birdied four of the last five holes in a stretch on the back nine. Couple of years later at TPC Rivers Bend in Ohio, just 14 years old, went wire to wire to win by 12 shots. And we mentioned that she was 12 years old when she qualified for the U.S. Women's Open. We have been talking about Lexi Thompson for 15 years. And she's trying to join Christy Kerr and MB Park as the only girls junior PGA champions to win this championship as well. I remember first time I think I met Lexi. She was about eight years old playing in junior tournament in South Florida. Big scrunchie on top of her head and about 20 hair clips. She's she's gone down a little bit in the number of hair clips she's got going on, but always had her unique style and same with her golf swing. It has always looked relatively similar. Along with Michelle Wee and Nellie Corda, one of the most recognizable American golfers of her generation. Now Chun with this, a second. Yeah, the second shot has been hard for her. She has a tendency to go too far to the right like she did yesterday, but this one should be fine. Yeah, she kind of just fell asleep a little bit yesterday, Kay, on that layup that cost her double bogey. Up at 18, Minji Lee has the first piece of the puzzle here at this par four, Woody, but it doesn't get any easier, especially when you stare down the hill at that water. Yeah, fantastic drive up the right side, just inside the bunkers, bounded down here, just 132 left, and 
Morgan, I don't think this is playing any more than 120. You'll get a forward bounce and then a left spin once it's down. Yeah, we saw Jung and Lee five hole out earlier by using that right slope. Definitely can play to your advantage. Got to play for a little spin. Good looking draw, just a hair right of the flag stick. This could be real good. It is real good. It is really good. A chance for birdie for Minji Lee to post four under. One more look at this beautiful strike. Just a fabulous shot under such pressure. Knows what she has to do. Knows she probably needs to make birdie here to put some pressure on Inji and Lexi. She has been living on major championship leaderboards. The last four majors, a win at the Evian last year. She won the U.S. Women's Open. Top five at the Women's British. Twelfth at the Chevron to start this year. And currently right there in third in this championship. Alexi Thompson's over at the 16th and definitely has designs on getting to this green in two, but it is Choi to play first with her second. Yeah, she's 15 yards behind Lexi. We're going to give it a rip. 249 to the front. Oh, she pulled it. It's going towards the, all those bunkers on the left. I think with this wind picking up, it's a tough, it's it's a lot of club to get there in two right now. Yeah, I mean, well, up here. Definitely you know, an awkward distance of shot, too. Correct, correct, correct. Any, anything up here is, is all pretty flat. This section here. This is what Lexi lives for. These par fives are so exciting. She can really utilize her strength. You heard it, 235 to the front. That's the number she's looking at. I would think she'd try to keep this down, the trajectory down, so the wind doesn't affect it as much. She did hit it lower, but pushed it out to the right, much like she did at the 11 pole. You know, that'll be just fine. She's chipping across the green there. It has a little room at this par 5 16th, a leader by two. So I was just working on First women's major ever at Congressional. It had the look of an early historical run by South Korea's NG Chung. Had a lead as big as seven just yesterday, but then the bogeys started to come and enter Lexi Thompson in this final round. Hasn't won a major since the 2014 Chevron. Hasn't won an LPGA Tour event in her last 50 events. Trying to join the tapestry of champions which has spanned nearly seven decades the women's second oldest major, the KPMG Women's PGA Championship. Big trophy on the line, $9 million purse, about ready to be handed out, and it's Lexi Thompson by two as they play that 16th. This is Chun, closest to her, two back. What a shot. Uphill look at birdie it'll be for NG Chung. Yeah, not not one of the longest players out here. Couldn't get to that green in two, but wow, what a wedge. Big putt here by Minji Lee to post four under. Closing birdie. And now we'll wait and see how Lexi and NG Chung close here down the stretch. And again, that last bogey. We'll see how big that looms that Minji Lee made. At the 17th and over at the 16th. Hey, Jin Choi overlooking her next shot here. Found second shot, found the bunker. And 
Lexi Thompson awaits her little pitch shot third up coming to this par five. And these 45 50 yard bunker shots are always ones you wish you'd practice just a little bit more Morgan. Yeah, it's a very awkward number here and, and she's got that other bunker to carry as well. She was in between a couple of wedges. Generally speaking players like to take a little more uh, or a little less loft. Just try and blast something out, but got to make sure you don't want to chunk it into that other bunker. Want to try and get this on the green. It's sitting cleanly. Oh, she oh. went for a solid contact. Wow. Not on purpose. That no. was. <laughs> Goodness. That's just just like case you said, Kay. I mean, you don't practice that shot very often of that 60 yard bunker shot. And easy to do catch it too cleanly trying to get too much out of it. Lexi Thompson has walked up onto the green here to get a better look at her upcoming third K. Yeah, and this this little pitch shot reminds me of the one that she had at the eighth hole, the, the um, short par four where she had to kind of deal with a tight lie, lofting it up, getting over the edge of a bunker, but she doesn't have the undulation on the green to deal with. The, the putt, the surface is very flat. Yeah, she's fifth on tour in scoring average so far this year averaging 4.54 nearly birdieing every other par five. I think she's ready to go. I mean technically Hajin Choi is away yeah. but she's gonna, she's gonna just get over this shot and let Hajin go try to figure out what what she has upcoming. Caught too much ball spin mm. off the other side. Goodness, we've seen a, a few players do that this week. Yeah, we saw it a little bit earlier in the week from Jessica Corda. Just it's a diabolical green here. It slopes off each side and kind of scoops it a little bit. You can see that in the way she tried to get under that with her right hand. Not much more of a more nerve wracking shot than the last few holes of a major championship from the short grass got to nip it just perfectly and I think she has a harder shot now Dan than the one she just had and how many more players is she letting back into this championship again Minji Lee just posted four under and all of a sudden this par five has become tough work for Lexi also tough work for Choi who's on the back of the green from the rough. Yeah, interesting that the two players that had a chance of going for the screen and two are not even on in regulation where NG Chun is sitting patiently awaiting her upcoming short birdie putt. It's a little bit of deja vu Katie what we saw from NG yesterday just making a mess of the 16th hole. This needs to slow down. Get it, get it. Well oh, oh. the flag stick helped almost took a big edge of that cup but that just sounded like she got a lot of ball on that fourth shot. And so now Choi in danger of making another bogey would be her third of the past four holes. And now what kind of shot is this for Lexi K. Well she's got the putter out which I think is a, a good call. It is it takes so much confidence and belief. Uh, you have to hit those little little clipped shots off these tight lies with so much confidence and fearlessness. And after hitting it thinly on the last shot, she's going to use a putter. But she has to hit this really solidly or she will not get it up the slope. It's not an easy putt from here. It's a tough putt to judge with so much fringe to putt through. And only nine feet of green to work with. Hard, huh? Just powered it up the slope. Had it's to get it up there. Easy to do when you know that you have to hit it. It's like the last thing you tell yourself. Just hit it. And you lose concept of the pace that way, but it's hard shot either way. Now she's got a long putt for par there. We go to 17. And the 19 year old from Thailand is not out of this yet. This is a second to the 17th. 
Needs a birdie birdie finish and that it just stays up on the correct level will give her a very good look at getting to three under par. Remember four under is in the clubhouse Minji Lee the clubhouse leader and who knows how this is going to finish up back to 16. Thompson. Now for par Choi is short of the green also with a par attempt coming up. It looks like Choi is going to go. They're pretty close in distance away. And Inji Chun's going to keep a good look on this this putt of Heijin Choi. Her putt for par is her her own putt for birdie is on a similar line. It looks like maybe it wants to move off. Just peel a little right. Troy is doing a bit of a free fall here in the last four holes. Third bogey. He has made a par since the 12th. So Troy drops to one under. At the moment, five back Alexi, but Lexi's not in for six under. This course setup today, it is just so challenging out here. We started the day with 18 players under par. There are only eight left at the moment. How many will be left by the end of the day? Morgan, I, I still like that play with the putter off the putting surface, but it's so hard when you haven't done that in a while. I don't, I don't recall her putting off the putting surface that far up a hill all day. She doesn't miss many greens either. <laughs> True. This to keep a two shot lead. Minji Lee, who's in it four under. Sometimes it can be hard to read these putts that hardly have any break after you've faced so much break throughout the day. This is one of the flatter greens on the course. If anything, Kay, it should maybe move a little left. I like that read. Oh, goodness. See that again. She ended up at the end of the stroke all the way on her back foot. That's almost three feet by. That's twice as far about as the putt that she missed earlier at the 14th. Get to that in a moment. The 17th. And Titicum for Birdie. And that gets her to three on the par. This is a player who's already won this year on the LPGA Tour, and she won on the Ladies European Tour when she was 14 years old. Leading the Rolex Rookie of the Year race on the LPGA and looking for three birdies to finish the championship. Back over to 16. And John has been waiting what seems like eternity for this birdie attempt. John Wood has joined this group with a call on NG Chun here. And she has, she watched that Choi putt intently, watching it just drift a hair right as it lost its speed. She knows this is a great chance to grab all that momentum back on her side. And the craziness of this Sunday would be unreal if NG Chun is the one who eventually emerges again as the champion. And that is a huge birdie putt for NG Chun. I love it. I love the way she has stayed patient out there. She has not gotten too upset with herself. And Chun is going to be at least tied for the lead. Getting to five under. Lexi's going to lose at least one here. Back to five under. And this is the distance that has been so troublesome through all the years for Bogey. Uh, I'm nervous and anxious for her. I just hope she can put a good normal stroke on this. So you should really trust it. Yeah, see if you can keep her weight from falling back. Definitely better with her weight there. But it's another last stroke for Lexi. Three bogeys in the last five holes for her. And this is totally up for grabs. Minji Lee in at four under. 
Itakun is playing the 18th now. She had one of two rounds in the 60s yesterday, so she comes in with big time weekend momentum. And there's Minji yep. Lee posing for pictures and wondering if she's going to lift another major championship trophy with two holes left for this final threesome. It's the opportunity to take home two of the biggest paychecks in the history of women's golf coming off the one point eight million dollar first prize at the women's open and then again here with the nine million dollar purse yeah, two richest purses in women's golf back to back are they back on the clock there <clears throat> that was Mitch Moon from the LPGA as a rules official and let's bring in Todd Gary from the PGA of America to give us more yeah so they uh the last group uh, again fell out of position with the group in front of them. So, as you said, uh, the Mitch Moon from the LPGA did uh, tell them that they're back on the clock, um, and hopefully we can get them back in position in the last couple of holes. Oh, that is uh, an extra bit of pressure to be on the clock with two <laughs> holes to play in the championship, but they are behind. There's a clear hole in front of them. The next group is on the 18th, and it's a par four. And now in Ji Chan. John, what's the line she's going to take? Probably right at the bunker, I would think. Yeah, there's a big crane in the distance just inside that bunker. That would be ideal for her. Just drip it over that hill and let it go down. Job one now. Just get the ball in the fairway anywhere. Put some heat on her. This is right over the top of that bunker. It's going to be fine. It all kind of drips down into the bottom. I'm going to go too far, but I think it's going to be absolutely fine. Now needs to avoid the divots. Watch it. Watch it. Yes. Okay. Now, Lexi, longer hitter, you would think is going to go left of that line. Yeah, I, I like the, uh, the over the middle of the bunker or at the, uh, the, the hospitality tent in the distance kind of at the peak of that. She hit it way down there the other day, Tom. She holed out for Eagle with her second. I couldn't even believe how far that tee shot was. Now this further right, I think, than she would have liked. It's going to just depend on how it hits on the side slope and where it ends up. Yeah, just going to be absolutely fine. There's a bit of an upslope there and just took some of the sting out of the driver. She drove it right over the hill. It is tied at the top here at Congressional. Championship in the home of golf. Lexi Thompson looking for a championship here and major for the first time in eight years for her. And Ji Chun tied at five under looking for her third career major. Coming down to the wire here as they play the 17th. Uphill second shot to this par four and the flag perched over on the right side. Down the breeze this hole. And as long as you avoid the divots, it should be a pretty straightforward second shot. I've seen a few players struggle on the green today. It's not been a difficult green to hit. But it hasn't yielded as many birdies as you would think. And we're going to go over to 18. And this is Jennifer Chang. This has been a fabulous week for birdie. To get in even par for the week. Jennifer Chang 75 in this final round. Still an excellent showing. For a young and really up and coming player. Back over to the 17th. And Lexi just trying to get a. Good visual on this second shot. And who's going to be first to play down there? And Chun will be, be first yeah, to play. Chun. And a perfect position in the fairway. A blind shot. You cannot see the bottom of this flagstick, but you know exactly what's up there. You've got a helping wind, and it's uphill. I think those two are going to cancel each other out. It's going to play right about the number. Visually, you don't think you have room right at this flag, but it's actually the best. It's the easiest way to get it close is to take it a little right, spin it down that hill. This is the flag stick right there. Good looking shot. Yeah. 
stay on that hill. Yeah, there's a slope there. Is it going to stay? It's right on the edge. She's going to have an uphill puck with a look at Birdie. Lexi. Yeah. Oh, true. I used to holding it. I like the 110. I like the 110. Yeah. I like that. This should, this should be okay. just be um, a normal 50-degree wedge. That's what she comfortably hits 115. If she's trying to hit it 110, she'll just take a little bit off of this. Maybe she hold out here from 102 on Friday. Yeah. Kick-started her championship. What will she do today? And that's going to be down in the area where we've seen that puck break left to right up the hill. So both of the leaders have birdie putts at 17 Sunday in the final round of the women's PGA. Nineteen-year-old Ataya Titakun of Thailand needs a birdie to match Minji Lee's four under in. Has a good look here at the 18th. We've seen how to do it. Just a little bit right of the flag stick. Let the slope bring it in towards the hole. It's a little bit deep, but still giving herself an uphill look for birdie. And when we have a moment, remind you that today's coverage is being brought to you by KPMG transforming insights into opportunities and it's been a red hot championship Sunday here temperature approaching in the 90s at congressional and the aerial coverage provided by Waystar on a journey to transform health care payments on the new look blue course we push right down into that final threesome at the 17th yeah well, both of the leaders have birdie putts to come and it will be the third member of the group to go first, Adrian Choi, has just come up short, but is on the correct level. And looks like she's going to putt this one. Yeah, 18 paces to the hole, Tom, and that's just about what she has here. Going to deal with some right to left movement. Adrian, four over for the day. But handling herself and really, I think, going to be pretty happy with uh, her tournament debut in the KPMG. I have little doubt that she will be a winner on the LPGA Tour pretty soon, maybe before the end of the summer. Well, any course after this is going to seem easy. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll see what happens at Muirfield if the wind blows there on the Scottish links. The AIG Women's Open goes to Muirfield for the first time at the beginning of August. That'll be the fifth and final major of the year on the LPGA Tour. And I think Lexi is going to be next to go with the birdie putt and when i got up here and first took a look at this putt i thought oh goodness this is not an easy putt inji chun has a pretty straightforward whole high left putt just because lexi hit it a little longer a little deeper into the green she now has to deal with a lot of left to right break and some speed yeah, and we've seen this putt already a few times today k if you get tentative with it it just keeps going to the right and if you hit it a little yeah. too firmly, it's going to zoom motor by. Exactly. I mean, this is one of those putts where you have to completely meld together the break and the speed. But this is the kind of length of putt that Lexi likes. Mm-hmm. Kind of reminds me back in the day of Helen Alfredson, a great Swedish player, wonderful ball striker. But she was really comfortable, like Lexi, on these mid-range putts. I just freeze her up a little bit, mm -hmm. Kay. Kind of like that putt she made on 15. See if she can keep it down on her line. 
Wasn't far away, but it drifts by into that awkward length. And that's what Lexi will have for the par. Let's just see how close that came to going in. It need much more to drop. Yeah, it just carried a fraction too much pace, Tom. But she kept it. It was a good stroke. Kept it nicely on her line. The left to right putts are usually the more challenging putts for a right-hander. Well, Inji Chun spent a lot of time at the top of the leaderboard this week. And she's got a chance to get back there now on her own. Yeah, Tom, and as Kay referenced, this is a green light special. It is up the hill, maybe slightly left to right, but no issue at all worrying about speed. And if she wants to take any break that she sees out of it, she's, she can because it's a back up the hill. She back didn't to give short. it enough. Yeah. Well, that was an opportunity, a golden opportunity for In Chi Chan. It was for back to back birdies. And she remains five under. Let's go over to 18. Must make for Titicoon to have a chance to match the four under leader. So Ataya Titicoon, the 19 year old fifth ranked player in the world, who picked up her first win on the LPGA. Two earlier this season in her first year making her championship debut. Not the last we're going to hear of this teenager. No, I, I don't think it's going to be long before she hoists a major championship trophy of her own. And back over to the 17th, Lexi Thompson with this putt to remain tied for the lead. Heart has got to be racing. Can she keep? the demons out of her head. No. No, no, no. It's a three putt for Lexi at the wrong time. Just pushed it there, Tom. Just a little bit of a cut in the stroke, which is what her tendency is when she doesn't make a perfect stroke. She tends to put a little bit of cut spin on the ball. And it was just enough to not allow that putt to break left. Well, she's still got a chance to win, but she's making it very difficult for herself here. One shot behind now. And she will walk to the 72nd tee. And you wonder when Lexi is going to be able to get this next win. Champion from a few years ago in this event, Hannah Green finishing up for birdie at the last. Good week for the Australian who won at Hazeltine in 2019. In that 75, not that bad considering the difficulty that the golf course has been dishing out today. This Hedgen Choi for a par, and that one goes missing. So that's going to be a bogey for Hedgen, and she is really slipping back. As Alexi makes the walk back up to the 18th tee, and it's going to seem like a pretty long walk, I would think, for Lexi right now. All of America, you knew, Tom, were feeling the same thing we were feeling when she was over that putt. It has just been replayed and replayed, and it is something that Lexi Thompson has had such great difficulty of erasing from her own psyche and NG Chung now emerging to the tee here with a one shot lead after everything that she has been through this week shot 64 69 had a six shot lead heading into the weekend. It was all about Lexi Thompson earlier today when she overtook Chun took the lead by herself at the fourth hole. But now what's going to happen. It's come down to three Minji Lee in at four under. Waiting to see what happens to Chun and Thompson here at the last. And a driver by NG Chung descended down this hill. Yeah, Dan and Morgan, uh, nuts and bolts time. She actually has a higher ball flight and a spinnier ball flight, um, and obviously hits it shorter uh, 
than Lexi does, but that might be better right now to keep the ball in the fairway. Lexi has that low, hot driver, and now that the, this, these fairways are running out, it's going to be tough to keep it in the fairway with how big it slopes. Yeah, you have to hug those right bunkers, try and get it as land as close to the right side as possible, just to keep it in the fairway. Starting down the center, she's leaning on it. So it's heading to tear right, but it's oh. just going to go absolutely perfect inside those bunkers. That is that driver has been a strong club for her all week, and once again here on the 18th hole with the one-shot lead. Look at how far that is rolling. Stay out of the divots. Stay out of the divots. Right between two, but no one has played the 18th better than Sean. Birdied it the first two days, parred it yesterday, and a driver here for Lexi sticking with her strength which is this big club she has absolutely tagged this this driver all day most difficult hole through three rounds this 18th that's yeah. it right yeah that's uh, wow over the bunkers just depends if it ricocheted off anybody and how the lie is over there in the rough I think she might be in a better spot than if she were in the bunker, but it will all depend on the lie. 18th hole here. Will it decide the KPMG Women's PGA Championship? Chun the leader by one with a beautiful drive down the par four. Some more numbers to look at. Some insights brought to you by KPMG. The final round seesaw battle between Lexi Thompson and NG Chung. Chung started the round, led by three. She's led after each of the first three rounds. After the third hole, they were tied. Chung started making some bogeys. Lexi Thompson soared up the leaderboard, led by one, then led by two. And then they were tied after the 16th hole. Lexi's missed some short putts. And after 17, another short miss. Chun now has the lead by one as she looks for her third major title. And while we have a moment, time for Go Like a Pro, presented by National Car Rental, our shot of the day. So it is possible to make an eagle at the last. Zhang Yun Lee, five, with her second at the 18th hole earlier in the championship. 18 is more tame today after being the most difficult hole through three rounds. And Lee, five, proved it with an eagle. Also, 10 birdies at this last hole today. So birdies a lot more in play than they have been through the first three days as well. Big crowd settling down around the 18th. You guys can just put your to see who's going to win please. this. And Lexi Thompson, I understand, has a decent lie up she, there above the bunker, K. She does indeed. Uh, really lucked out, cleared the bunkers. She's actually in a, an area where the rough is a little shorter. Um, it's, it's a pretty flat lie as opposed to the other players that are going to deal with the severe downhill lie and tilted lie. And what about the lie for NG Chun? John? Just, just a slightly right to left uh, lie, but it is in an old divot. I don't think it's going to present much of a problem because she doesn't depend on a lot of spin to this, this hole. If you remember Scotty Scheffler at the first hole of the U.S. Open on Sunday was in a similar divot, very shallow. It'll keep the ball down, but I don't think it's going to affect her shot too much. Like well, there's definitely, there's definitely a little bit of help there for sure. Well, I have the help figured out. It's yeah. Across. Well, it should be, should be. I mean, like I said, it should be straight south. So it should be. Off the right stuff. Correct. Yes. It's been, it's, it's been good on that all day. Thirty-one. Make sure I hear mm -hmm. it. Like thirty-six. Yeah, I like that. 36 down. I mean, I still want to make sure I get the height, so I want to have a little bit of pace on Right, right. You can feel it somewhere on that. 30? Like 30? Yeah, 30 is right where I was at. Okay. Okay. Right, let me get out of your way here. 139 actual yardage to the front, and they're calculating how much down this play is nine yards down, and then wind helping. Needs to land this somewhere around the front of the green K. Yes, and, and too far to the right, it starts sloping right to left. If she can just land it sort of middle or 
just a teeny bit right of middle, right at the front, would be ideal. There's a pretty severe slope on the very front right of the green. Definitely want to avoid that because you could get a pretty bad ricochet off of that one. This is an aggressive line. Much more aggressive than I thought, but wow, what a result. One arm off the club, and she knew that it was uh, on the edge there on that left side of the flagstick. Haven't seen too many approaches on that side, Morgan. Yeah, I think that was definitely a little more aggressive than she wanted to be. Thought maybe she tugged it a little bit and it would go long, but took a pretty soft bounce. Thought it might land a little bit firmer. Will she have to make that putt? 133 left for Chun. That shot will not change this shot for her at all. It's a pitching wedge. Just aim it 15 to 20 feet out to the right, and it's a driving range swing. Just getting rid of some bugs there. Last two holes in divots, but she has not reacted at all to them. It's just sized it up and said, okay, here we go. I kind of think that's the way she's handled herself all week, John. She hasn't really reacted when things haven't gone her way, and, and that's why she's in this position on the 18th hole with the one-shot lead. This is heading left. She's going to have to get a good bounce forward. She hits off the down slope, got an unlucky bounce. Definitely a, sounded like a missed strike. Didn't quite catch that solidly. And that's not going to be an easy third shot. Just kind of settled up against the back collar for Chun. I feel like that's kind of a fitting shot to this wild final Sunday we've had here, Dan. Just sounded a hair thin, maybe, if anything. Landed on the down slope, took a huge hop. All the way back to that back edge. And like you said, Dan, kind of settled up weird. Oh, look at that. Firm greens. I'm going to settle right into this. Not really a fringe cut here. Just settled into the rough. Looks like the line might be OK, but I, I would imagine has to chip it. It's just a tough hole to end a major championship on. As they come down the hill, large crowd, giving an ovation well deserved for Chung and Lexi Thompson. Chung has been living with this championship with the lead since day one. 64. Gave her a huge five shot lead. different South Koreans that have won a women's major, but only two have won more than two, and that is the company that NG Chun is trying to join, Seiri Park, Park and NB Park, both with seven. And don't forget about Minji Lee, in at four under. Needs a bogey by Chun to have a chance. But again, Lexi Thompson has a look at birdie, which could, who knows, win the championship here. So those are the three involved in the last few moments of this championship to be decided. All right, Chun is coming up to the hole here. What, first of all, what kind of shot is this just up against that fringe, Woody? The good thing is she crawled up on top of the fringe. I think she, making contact is not going to be an issue for her. Had it stopped a few inches shorter, it would have been one of those ones where you only have to get, go down to it to make contact in the center of the ball. I think that's fine. That being said, it's going to be a tough read speed-wise. She's got to go downhill, then back up a slope. In about 15 feet, it's going to go straight down a hill. So uh, it's just it's a tough speed read line wise. I don't think that difficult. It's just going to fall to her right at the end. You think putter is the right play here, John? I do. I really do. It's not going to hop too much coming out of that. It's got the potential to hop, Morgan. But like they always say, I think if she hits a bad putt, it's going to be eight to six feet. If she hits a good chip, it's probably four feet. 
Uh, I just think there's there's less complications with this club. Looks like there's maybe a little bit of tough to grass there in front of the ball. Won't get rolling straight away. It's going to force Lexi to make a birdie. Up and over the ridge. And now down. Carrying a little bit of speed. All in all, not too bad. Yeah, definitely just hop just a touch, but she gave it enough pace to play for that. But I mean, like John said, what's it six feet or so probably a pretty good effort there. With the championship on the line. And she leaves right there, of course, interested spectator. In at four under. U.S. Track and Field Championship will be seen on CNBC here at the top of the hour for you track fans out there. As we bring you maybe the conclusion here at the 18th hole, 72nd hole. Hey, Jin Choi, who has made four bogeys in the last five holes to drift out of contention at even par, this for birdie. You know, putting across almost the entire width of the screen. Looking like a pretty good line and speed. Really good line and speed. <laughs> Slips back into red figures. Hey, Jin Choi. With a long one at the last. So Lexi Thompson, can she make this birdie putt? Can she survive four birdies down the stretch of this final nine here to give herself a chance? Morgan, this is one of those putts you look at and it just feels good. It's just coming off a slight downhill slope. You won't have any problem getting the, the speed on this. Be curving a little to the right and then starts flattening out a little bit as it, as it nears the hole. And yeah. almost kind of starts going uphill a little bit. I was say, just maybe back slightly up the hill here at the end. You can't expect Inji in this situation to miss this putt. Lexi needs to get this one to the hole. <laughs> this to get to five under the number where Chun is at the moment. low all the way. It never had a chance. So a tap in for par for Lexi. Tying Minji Lee's four under number and that'll put the full focus on Inji Chan for par to win the championship. Just too many putts. All of those at short range for Lexi Thompson. But still with a chance. As Chun has to make this to take Lexi and Minji Lee out of it. What a journey this has been for Chun. Out to that historical start on Thursday and Friday. Seven shot lead yesterday, all of it gone today, and then in this position to win her third major. Morgan, I think you're exactly right. It's about five feet. She watched this putt go past the hole. Uh, so she should know it, it It kept moving to her right coming down that hill. So this should just have a little bit of right to left at it. 
It's a very comfortable putt for a right-hander. And I mean, her putting stroke, especially think of how she putted that first round. She's made a lot of really solid putts this week. This, she make one here. Yeah, this to cap off one of the most topsy-turvy championships we've seen in a long time. Back to the top for Chun after the incredible start. This to win her third different women's major. Yeah. And Angie Chung perseveres and wins the championship with a clutch par putt at the 72nd hole. Been carrying the weight of this championship since that historic 64 on Thursday. <laughs> she shot 75-75 on the weekend. The highest closing 36 old total of a winner on the LPGA since Sayri Pak opened the floodgates in that U.S. Women's Open at Black Wolf Run in 1998. And so South Korea would get another major champion. Three-time major champion, In Ji Chan, closes it out. And the story continues for Lexi Thompson. The disappointments of big-time major championship Sundays, they just continue with a 73. Had all sorts of opportunities again today. It was her championship to win or lose? And unfortunately for Lexi, and her fans won back in that tie for second with Minji Lee. As we update the race to the CME Globe, Minji Lee still on top. And Inji Chun goes 15 spots up into the top 10 in the eighth position as we send you down to Katherine Tappan. Dan, thank you so much. And I'd like to introduce the president of the PGA of America, Jim Richardson. Yes, on behalf of our partners with the LPGA Tour, title sponsor KPMG, the PGA of America, and the 28,000 members around the country that grow the game every day, it's my pleasure to introduce the 2022 KPMG Women's PGA Champion, In Ji Chun. In Ji, congratulations. Now a three time major champion, and you did it with enormous pressure and the entire weekend. What can you say about this championship victory for yourself? It just means a lot because I didn't have any wins last almost three and a half years. So I really appreciate it to my old sponsor, KB and Deloitte, SAP, Tegoir, Ping, and Srixen and Nike, because they always believe in me. So I really appreciate it. And my family and my coach, my managers, Justin and Yoon, and my caddy, and my flying Dumbo fans in Korea, they never give up me, <laughs> like, no matter how I did. So. Thank you so much, and I really enjoyed the rolling the ball this week. So thank you for all the green keepers at Congress Congressional Golf Club here. So thank you. Congratulations, Angie. Dan? You can hear and see how appreciative she is. Breaking an 0 for 76 winless streak worldwide. That victory had been a long time coming for Angie Chun even though it was her third major championship. Well, you can join our crew next for the 150th Open at St. Andrews, July 14th to the 17th on NBC USA and Peacock. Coming up next from Eugene, Oregon, the USA Track and Field Championships right here on NBC. What a week at Congressional for our entire NBC Sports crew. Dan Hicks saying so long from Bethesda. In Chun survives the field and wins the championship. <laughs>